But there's some hopeful news today from Moderna. Preliminary data finding the COVID booster shot increased antibody levels that can help protect against Omicron. The company also tested a larger dose that produced even higher antibody levels. So we're going to bring in our chief health editor, Dr. Partha Nandy, now to explain the significance of this. And good afternoon, Dr. Nandy. Uh, Moderna's booster dose is 50 micrograms. So how much protection can it provide against Omicron? Well, I'm actually pretty happy to share the positive results with the Moderna study. The company announced that the booster dose increased neutralizing antibody levels by 37 fold, which is great. Now the 50 microgram booster dose, as you mentioned, is a half dose. So what Moderna did was this, they took a full dose. 100 micrograms to see, hey, how well did it do as a potential booster? And here's what they found was a larger dose blend the increased neutralizing antibody levels by 83 fold, so a lot more. And so you might be wondering about side effects, right? If you double the dose, what happens? Safety data found that this high 100 microgram beta was, uh, dose rather was safe and well tolerated, but it appears to cause more adverse reactions when compared to the current 50 microgram dose that people are getting now. So could this larger dose become a booster in the future? It's possible, but Moderna is also testing other different drug dosing amounts and no data has been released yet because they're in clinical trials. But still to me, this is good news overall. So Dr. Moderna says they're working on a specific booster for Omicron, even though Dr. Anthony Fauci says it's not necessary. Do you think this news will discourage people from getting the booster? I certainly hope not. I hope people don't wait. Right now, only a third of Americans have, have received a booster shot. That's just not enough, right? Omicron is extremely contagious, the most contagious variant we've had thus far. So I'm really concerned what may lie ahead for us as Americans and the rest of the world. As for Moderna, right, creating a specific booster for Omicron, the company is doing this just in case one is needed. Advanced clinical trials for this, Linda, would probably not start until early next year, early 2022, which means a specific booster is still months away. I don't expect that we'd see it approved before spring of next year. And that is only, it's a big if, if the FDA and the CDC decide that an Omicron specific booster is needed. So there are plenty of new opportunities for this variant, this new variant to wreak havoc on families and communities. I know people have heard right, that it may be mild, but we're still learning about Omicron. And while it may be causing mild cases in South Africa, they have a different population there. Population's younger, our population's older, and older folks, as we know, don't do as well with the virus. Plus, we're seeing more breakthrough infections with this new variant. So once again, I encourage people to do as I did, which is get vaccinated and get boosted. That's the best way to fight off, fight off uh, Omicron at this point. But I, I love the fact that there's some good data coming out from Moderna that in, in case we need a specific, uh, you know, specific booster, we've got that with some antibody levels that are higher. All right, Dr. Nandy, thank you for the update. We appreciate it. My pleasure. Thank you. And if you have a coronavirus question for the good doctor, you can email him, Dr. Nandy at AskDrNandy.com, or you can send it to us on Facebook or Twitter. We'll get it right to him.